Welcome back, and that word next solution, a virtuoso. Well, our last letter round now, and uh, it is your choice, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Could I start with a consonant, please? You can, thanks, Andrew. T. And another one? D. And a third, please? H. And a fourth? Another T. I'll go with a vowel, please. O. And another? A. A third vowel, please. E. Um, a consonant. R. And finally, a consonant, please. And last letter of the day, G. And 30 seconds from now. for you that time, Andrew? I have an eight. And Alexis? I have an eight. Lovely to hear. Two eights. Excellent. What was yours, Alexis? Goat herd. <laughs> it, it always brings the sound of music to mind for some reason. <laughs> but a lovely word, Andrew? Uh, garroted. Oh, much less pleasant. <laughs> Goat herd and garroted. Beautiful yes. words though, David. Less music in the uh, in the second, no <laughs> doubt about it. And both wonderfully played, two contestants. Goat herd and garroted, which does have variant spellings included... Your spelling, please, Andrew. G A R. See you next week, mate. All right. Yes, listed and legit, and Goatherd also listed. Well played, beautiful eights. So two eights, both Andrew and Alexis scoring. Alexis now up to 22. Andrew on 43. And it's our final numbers game for the night. Now, after some very strong scoring, Alexis, your choice this time. Mm, can I please have three small numbers and three large ones? Three smalls Thanks. and three large. Thanks, Alexis. One, seven, and two. And the three large, 50, 75, and 100. And the target to reach is 550. Let's hunt down that target. Maybe not too tough a final one. How did you go, Alexis? Um, I've got 550. I thought you might have. And uh, Andrew, what about you? I have 550. You have as well. Well, Alexis, take us th through your approach, please. Um, I deducted two from seven to give me five. Seven, take away two, gives you five. And then I multiplied that by 100. By the 100. So that I had 500. Gives you 500. And then I added 50. Add the 50. Gives you 550. Well done, Alexis. Very nice. Andrew, was your method the same? No, it was uh, 7 by 75, which is 525. 7 by the 75 gives you 525. And then uh, 50 divided by the 2 gives you 25. 50 divided by the 2 is 25. Add it on. Add that on. 550. Very nice as well. well we've had uh, a number of variations on the theme, or two variations on the theme. Have you, have you got a different one? I can think of a couple more, but I, I, I'll give you one of them. Um, seven minus the one gives you six. Six by 75 gives you 450. And if you add the 100, gives you 550. Very nice as well. So with both Andrew and Alexis spot on target, that's 10 points each, bringing the totals to Alexis 32, Andrew on 53. And as usual, our final round tonight is the conundrum. We're going to present both our contestants with nine letters from which they need to create a single word. And they'll have up to 30 seconds to work it out. But of course, they can press the buzzer sooner if they think they have the answer. Ten points at stake here. So let's reveal the conundrum. Your time starts now. Well, that was incredibly quick, Andrew. I don't think, we've, I don't think that clock hardly moved. 
What do you think? It's adjective. Let's see if you're correct. And the conundrum solution is indeed adjective. So, very fine play by Andrew. And uh, after the final round, uh, the winner is, of course, Andrew on 63 points. But look, Alexis, there was some tremendous play from you. I think uh, the score doesn't reflect some of the terrific words that you came up with. And we'd love to send you uh, uh, off home with a copy of the Macquarie Dictionary. So uh, thank you very much indeed for, for being here tonight. Andrew, once again, very strongly played and, uh, and a very strong win. We were kind of looking forward to another nine, you no, know, no, another, no. another nine-letter word. We're going to expect it, you know. As I said, they're pretty rare, so we were lucky to get a couple on Friday. Anyway, well, maybe tomorrow, who knows? We look forward to seeing you back then. It was another great night, wasn't it? Some very interesting words came up, David, didn't they? Oh, look, in fact, the adjective to use is impressive from both players. It's a great, uh, great battle. And Alexis, uh, fantastic um, fight back in that sort of second and third segment. Really great game. Well, thank you, David. And it was interesting to see, even with that last solution, that there were quite a number of different ways of approaching the problem. It's always lovely to get a problem where there are, are numerous solutions to the answers it doesn't happen very often, but we were lucky enough to have one today. Well, lovely to see how they work too. So we'll see you tomorrow night, Lily. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for playing along with us here on Letters and Numbers. Join us tomorrow night and we will see if Andrew can keep the winning run alive against another competitor. See you then, 6 o'clock. Good night.